back to it, um, inside of Power Tools um, and part of our loyalty and reward system, we do have a loyalty card system as well that I think we should chat about a little bit. So uh, loyalty cards are a great way. And I mean, the whole loyalty program, I'm a huge, I'm a huge fan of loyalty programs in general, getting people into your business and then keeping them there, right? So once somebody is in a loyalty program, um, or in a bit as a business starts running a loyalty program, they're not going to want to get rid of it, because they're going to look like they're gonna look like dicks, right? They're going to look like, Hey, um, I had this loyalty program and, you know, we just canceled on canceled it. I know you guys had a bunch of points, but we just got rid of it. So those points don't count for anything. So that's the thing. It's a really sticky pro way to get customers, uh, your customers, your agency customers to stick around because it's going to, they're going to have a program that's rolling with you where they're not going to want to get rid of it because if they do get rid of it, they're not going to look like good guys. They're going to be, people are going to be like, what happened? How come the loyalty program went away? Um, so they're going to want to stick around with you. That makes it sticky. That makes them staying in your SaaS. That makes them staying with you in your business, which I really like. That is a whole reason why we're inside high level. And, and one of the challenges with being in high level is getting those customers to your agency customers to join and then stick around because I mean, we've got different problems where a Maybe they're not using the software as well as they could be. So we need to have a really good onboarding system to get those customers in, get them set up and get them rolling uh, as quickly as possible. And then what makes it sticky, right? If they're, if they're, um, if they only have a couple pieces that maybe they're using that they're, you know, not really using as effectively as possible, we always want to try and get them using the system more and more and integrate integrate that into their business so that they don't want to leave because churn is one of the things that's going to kill your SaaS or your agency or whatever. Um, so how do we get those people in? And then for them, we want their customers to continue to come back over and over again for the products and services that they're selling and not go to their competitor for the exact same thing. So, or a similar service, right? Because um, I think it's funny. I've always talked with uh, a ton of different, I have talked with tons of different businesses out there, hundreds of them. And what, um, what I, when you always, when you sit down with a company and you're like, well, what sets you apart from, from your, your competition out there? And, you know, they always have the exact same thing to say. They're like, oh, we care about our customers. You know, we, we want to be, uh, we, we won't overcharge, you know, there's no hidden hidden fees with us. We're not going to screw somebody over. Um, we love what we do. You know, we're passionate about this kind of thing. Everybody says the exact same thing over and over. Um, and if you look on a lot of their websites, it's all going to say the same thing. So um, one of the things that we want to do is try and get, even though that they're saying that kind of stuff, try and get people hooked on the business and using their loyalty cards so that they can come back over and over again for the services that um, you know they're going to go somewhere else and get anyways. Um, and that's and then loyalty cards really line themselves typically with uh, restaurants, uh, retail businesses, um, bakeries, coffee shops. Um, it really could even be hair salons. Um, any any kind of thing where we have repeat customers coming back over and over again. So that's where the loyalty card itself comes back. If we want people to purchase things more often, then we set them up with a loyalty card, right? So we used to own back before um, we met, moved out to, to, to the West Coast here. Um, we owned a number of hair salons in Saskatchewan. And one of the things that was so powerful with the hair salons that we we owned, and my wife was a hairstylist for 20 years, platform artist, traveled around the world, taught people how to do hair, how to run their business, all that kind of stuff. She's amazing at it. Um, but after we had our son and we ended up moving out to the West Coast here, um, we we ended up getting shutting down those salons and she joined us um, at, at Think Big Studios. And, and then she runs a lot of our social media marketing and uh, talking with customers and cu customer success coach and all that kind of stuff. So um, one of the things that she implemented in the salon was retail. Retail was huge. I mean, you can go in and get your hair cut and everything like that. Um, I mean, they charged insane prices uh crazy prices but i mean that's what hair salons do um <laughs> so it was it was great in that respect um 
but then retail was always a kicker. Like, I mean, any kind of holidays, anything like that, getting people to come back in and purchase retail more often was really a key because one of the nice things about that, and, and a lot of businesses don't think about it is if we can sell more retail, that's just stuff we get money for that we don't have to do any work for, right? So if we can entice our customers to come back more often to purchase more retail or, um, yeah, basically more retail when that, that was shampoo, that was uh, shampoo, hairspray, lotions, all the, all different kinds of things they had. They had probably hundred products that easily that they sold that covered everything from foot care to hand care to hair care to may face whatever kind of thing. And it was all high end stuff. But um, if we if we've re realized if we can get people to come back in and we can get our staff to sell more of it, then it was really impactful and it made a huge difference in the business versus just selling someone getting them to get their hair cut, colored, whatever it is, and then sending them on their way, right? Because if they had a product, and they came back over and over again, that's just continued repeat business, right? They're not going to be able to get it anywhere else. So implementing a loyalty card in that situation, where you're going to tell somebody, hey, buy 10 of these products, and you're going to get your 11th free. That's a huge thing. That's a huge thing that's going to keep them coming back again and again. Uh, I even know that right now, I was just thinking about it. My, my dog is out of dog food. And um, we are in a loyalty program for his dog food. So it's buy 10 bags of dog food, get your 11th bag free. And it's not cheap stuff. I think his dog food, he's a small guy, but it's about 80 bucks for a bag of dog food. But we keep buying that brand because we keep um, getting our loyalty points for it. And then we also... Um, get that free bag it's it's probably once a year that we get a free bag of dog food um, just how much he goes through it but it's um, we keep buying that same brand because we're we're on that loyalty program so let me run you through really quick how the the loyalty cards work because I think it's such a, a powerful uh, tool and we built one right inside of high level so you can get points give points or get get stamps uh, give stamps um, and then they can redeem their stamps for that that 10th bag or 11th bag or whatever you want to do. Now, there's a different, a couple different ways to set it up. You can have people in the, the staff at the, the business use a, a computer. You can have them use a tablet. They can use a phone um, to redeem any of this or award any of this. We, I know we have, we have one business that we're working with that they just actually just write down everybody's name. And then at the end of the day, they reward, they award points for to those people. Uh, once a day, they sit down for five minutes and make sure everybody gets their stamps that they get for, um, for a product. And I mean, I was talking to someone who's, who's rolling out this loyalty, who has this loyalty system, um, this loyalty card for some of their clients. And they've got clients who spend um, they're, uh, they're like a smoothie shop and they, they, have uh, it's like healthy, healthy juices and smoothies and stuff like that, but they roll it out and they have people spending, uh, like a hundred dollars a week, hundred dollars a week or more like the, um, on, on, uh, on smoothies and juices and, and all that kind of thing. Actually, what, it was even more than that because I think the person spends 50 to a hundred dollars almost every time that they come in and they're come, they come in a couple times a week. So it's, it's crazy what people will spend if they, and, and then rewarding them with loyalty stuff after that is really cool. So, um, this is how our loyalty system works here. We have a QR code where somebody can just scan the QR code and go to the site and it's going to bring them to this registration page here and once they come to the registration page we want to keep this as simple as possible so once they come to this registration page they can fill out their information and it's going to show them their loyalty card which is dynamically generated with them logging in so this is mine and it already shows that i have four stamps here now um all they have to do is uh bookmark this on their phone or, or, or save that link from their SMS or email. And it's going to give them the, this QR code. So when they come to the business, the, the business can scan this QR code. And this is a little QR code thing here, QR code reader, which is, which is super neat to have in your browser. If you don't have one, just check, look it up and they'll scan any QR code that's in your browser for you. So let's open this link, send us over to here. And we have to put it in a business, uh, you uh, enter a password for our, for our business. So there's an admin password where let's say a, if the person decides to have somebody else scan this QR code, they're going to come to this page 
and they're not going to be able to do anything because they don't have the password for this. So now this password pulls from custom values and we use the API in the back end to um, log somebody in there. So once they uh, log in, it's going to bring them to a page like this. Now, this is the admin side. This is the business side of the 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 QR, the, the loyalty stamps. We just had somebody else join here. So that's really cool. Um, this is the business side of the loyalty card. So when they come in, they scan that QR code. The business scans the QR code. It brings them to this page. They put their password in. Now it pre-fills the customer's information so they don't have to do anything. It shows them how many stamps that the customer has. And now they can easily just select how many stamps that they want to give. They can put in a dollar amount if they want. And then it's auto gonna it's gonna pre-fill this password for them. Now the key thing with this password is if they don't have this password, uh, if this password doesn't match the password that's in custom values, it's not gonna give any points. So the admin know the password, it's gonna pre-fill it for them because they already put it in earlier and I don't want them to, to repeat uh, everything that they've done. So all they have to do is hit submit. Now that's gonna give me uh, two more stamps for my card. So if I go back to this page here, uh, we're gonna enter and you can see that I already have two more stamps on my card. Um, that's cool. And it's going to send me an email and a text message and stuff like that saying that I, I just earned new stamps. So once somebody has a full loyalty card, again, we want to keep this as simple as possible. They can go over to redeem loyalty. And in here, it's going to have the person's card. So it's the same QR code. So they scan this, it shows them, hey, I've got a full card. Um, they, they scan the QR code, it brings them to this page, they click on redeem loyalty. Now, all they have to do is click redeem loyalty, and that's going to reset the person's card and say, hey, you just earned, you just redeemed for, you know, your 11th bag of dog food or your 11th coffee or 11th smoothie or whatever it is. We have a couple different numbers in here as well. So we have a five and we have a 10. Um, so you can set it up for five stamps. You can set it up for 10 stamps and you can actually change the background to whatever you want for the loyalty card through our backend administration system, which I will just jump over to really quick. Just kind of give you guys a quick overview of what that looks like. So this is a great system. Again, any kind of business that you can, uh, that has repeat customers who are coming back over and over again, you can get them to get stamps every time they purchase products, they get a service, whatever it is. Um, and you can have them keep coming back and back. That's that's what I like. I mean, there's a couple. So when we talk about loyalty and rewards, we have a couple different variations. There's the loyalty cards, but then we also have the reward system where we give points. So that's where you kind of have to decide, do you want to do the, the, ten, the loyalty card where they buy 10, get one free? Or do you want to do a reward system where you're rewarding them with points every time they take an action, which could be a purchase, which could be uh, watching a video. It could be logging in. It could be finishing a course. It could be anything like that. Um, giving them points for, for taking action and then um, letting them reward. So I'm going to jump over to, where's the loyalty cards, right? Loyalty cards right there. Loyalty cards under settings here. Um, you can change the background and you can change the stamp and then you can decide how many stamps you want to give for that loyalty card. So you're you're pretty much open to anything anything you want. So we've got the, the pixels here. What size that has to be? 105 pixels by 105 pixels for a loyalty stamp. And you have full control over what that loyalty card looks like for that, that particular business, which I think is really awesome. So that's kind of an overview of the, the loyalty card system that we have. Everything is contained in here and it just connects with our back end to load up those cards and, and make it so you can totally customize the experience for your customers.